json is everywhere xml are replaced by json no sql database are all json message broker like kafka is using json microservice talks in a form of json ui ux takes all json format objects and it is most likely needed that you may want to transform one json structure into another json structure so to do that we have one not so good solution it's like you convert json into xml then use xslt to transform xml to xml and then convert back new xml to new json so it's like json to xml to conversion of xslt and then xslt to xml a new format of xml and then again convert back that xml into json here you need to learn all this technology xml xslt and xml you need to learn all this outdated technology which you are not going to use further so this is a headache and burden this is not efficient solution because it is converting from one format to another format unnecessarily it is not maintainable because you need to modify many thing into xslt which is not relevant and you are doing too you are exercising too complex system for just a simple task so we introduce a jolt jolt is a json language for transform to transform one json structure directly to another json structure we are talking about structure note that we are not changing a data type it's a json itself but we are changing one structure into another structure how jolt is a better solution using jolt you can convert directly json to json there are 90% of transform which can be achieved by jolt and there are some complex and very complex structure which you want to transform you can still do it with the traverser api of a jolt how jolt work jolt takes a input json it's a part which you want to convert there are jolt spec it's a specification and then you will get a output json so you apply jolt spec over a input json to get a output json okay just have a look at jolt spec structure so in the jolt spec structure you have a operation and you have a specification you have a operation another operation and another specification your specification goes here so this is a array of operations operation 1 operation 2 and every specification goes in between this so jolt spec is also a json structured only how to use jolt jolt will take this kind of input consider this input where we have a rating we have a name we have a value now you want to convert this value name into customer rating because this is a customer rating so you want to output like this customer rating so you provide a operation shift spec and then you provide that rating and value you need to convert it into customer rating so now your output will have a customer rating 3 i will explain this example in detail later see here it's a just a zoomed out zoomed in version of a previous slide rating name and value this is our input structure we are exercising shift operation shift means take one value from an input and put it into a another field name in a output shift means that so in left hand side we are just imitating like from where you want to pick up that value you are imitating a structure here so you are imitating input structure so in spec we i am saying that rating go into rating so it will go here it will go here then it will ask for a value now it will go and pick here so now my jolt pointer is at value it will pick up that value this value number three and where it should put it should put in a customer rating in a output so it will create a new output which will have a field name customer ratings and the value will be placed like this from here value will be picked from here and placed it here so this is called as a shift operation